Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're gonna be doing this she a real bad bleep makeup look, okay? I'm giving like a kind of like a baddie, a little bit sultry but simple. Baldy to baddie, bald daddy. That is what we're going for today. So if you wanna see how I create this look, Go ahead and keep on watching. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and start off with the frame of the face, and that is the brows. I might not have hair on my head, but I have hair on my brows. I'm gonna make sure they're good and they're in place. Somebody literally bullied me for this because why is this spoolie so disgusting looking? I'm using the Patrick Tosh Shaping Wax in Tinted. If you use this literally just once or twice, your brush is gonna be gunked up, so make sure you're washing it, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this a little wet here. I'm just gonna scrape off a little bit of product. This is gonna help our brows look nice and fluffy. And this one is tinted. It doesn't add a ton of color, but it's definitely there. So satisfying. Like this side, I accidentally cut my brow hairs too short. I wish I could trust somebody to go to an actual place and do my brows for me, but trust issues. Look at that, a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. I'm telling you, this holds your brows in place. I know I've been using nothing but this Refi Beauty Brow Gel, which you guys literally see me use every single video. We might have a new sheriff in town. This is definitely more like a glue down type of situation. So I'm just gonna press that on there and you can feel it's definitely more of like a sticky vibe i swear i just throw the word vibe in to make my point does it even make sense usually not really you guys get the vibe before i even go any further you can already see that my lips are looking very lackluster very not plump and juicy so a huge thank you to today's sponsor about face if you aren't familiar with about face it is a makeup line by halsey who was once a bald baddie as well so this is really fitting you know it all just really comes together the universe so today we're going to be picking from the new blushing beige collection and these are all lip products i'm going to show you guys right here we have six new shades of the light lock lip gloss six new shades of the paint it matte lip color and six new shades of the matte fix lip pencil if you ask your man if these are all the same color and he says yes dump him i love a good bold lip don't get me wrong i love a good red but there's just something about a mauvey brownie tone nude lip that never looks bad it always looks good so this collection is perfect i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these lip pencils first you guys are gonna vote down below what you want my little lip combo to be first we have false alarm this is definitely a lot more pink than i'm usually into the type of nudes that i like are definitely more on the brownie side then we have the shade raw kiss smoking room i actually really like this one this one's gorgeous midnight seduction and then we've got after party oh this one might be the one wait a minute they feel just as buttery as like a creamy lipstick would on your lips one through six let me know what do you think now that i have these on they went on like creamy creamy now that they're on that lip is staying in place i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the paint and matte lip colors this first one is gonna be through the fields and these are like a full pigment one swipe vibe that one's Monarchy. This one is Obscure Desire. Somebody's running a lawnmower. We don't even have grass in this area, so I don't know what that's about. Humiliar Rocks, I guess. Then we have Not Your Baby. This one is Fantasist. And actually, we're going to backtrack a little bit because I don't have enough space, so I'm going to put one back over here, and that is going to be Dilemma. I don't have these names memorized yet, but I will. They're still a little bit wet right now, but they're going to dry down to a completely matte consistency. So this is just when they're first applied. This like little tractor situation or whatever's going on here is really ruining these ASMR vibes. Last but certainly not least for the lip combo that I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the glosses. I love a good gloss. These are a buttery oil base. They are glossy, not sticky, if that's the kind of vibe that you're going for. This first one is called Plastic Petal. Then we have blame game then i got double clutch this one looks to die for then we've got play date this one's a little bit deeper those people that have those naturally plump juicy lips that are pigmented i love that for you this one is adore me there we go with the glosses one two three four five six so go ahead and pause the video if you need to make your vote down below in the comments and let me know which combo that you want to see me wear if i pick yours 
You win. I don't know what you win yet, but you win. Of course, all these bomb lip products from the Blushing Beige collection are gonna be linked down below in my description. So go ahead and check those out down below. Let me know what shades that you're gonna pick up. Let's go ahead and move on to complexion. She's looking very bland right now. Once I put my foundation on, I literally look like a hard boiled egg, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation in Cheesecake. I haven't used this one in a while, so I wanted to pull it out. I love a good stick foundation. To me, all stick foundations have the same thing in common. They're all creamy, they're all a natural finish, and have really good coverage. So if you're not sure what kind of foundation to get for yourself and you like all those things, stick foundation, especially the Makeup For Everyone. I obviously am out of it or I cannot find it, but that is hands down my favorite. Like that just went on like a dream. I'm not gonna lie, I just pour a little bit of my water that I was drinking on my sponge because I forgot to wet it before I walked in here. I feel my best when my skin looks good. Like, let me just be honest here. I don't know if anybody feels the same, but when my skin looks like it's glowing, it looks fresh, it looks radiant, it looks youthful, it doesn't look dry or crusty because I have dry skin. When I put on a matte foundation, obviously it's giving full glam and that's cool but it just doesn't really do me any favors. And the older I get, the more I want my skin to look youthful, okay? To society standards, I'm young, but to TikTok standards, I am ancient. Like, I might as well be retiring soon. Hard-boiled egg vibes. I was definitely looking very much hard-boiled the other day because I shaved my head bald with a razor. This length is where I draw the line, I think. I looked like Dr. Evil. I've been stuck on these Lancome Tint I Dull Ultra Wear Concealers. So this is how I've been highlighting and contouring recently, or really like concealing and contouring. But this shade is a little bit warm, so be nice, okay, be nice. She definitely needs a more cool tone. The finish, magnifique. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little contour on. You don't need much, a little bit definitely goes a long way. So I'm just gonna dot that here. And my most like important thing for being bald, maybe I'll do like a bald makeup tutorial, but I feel like that would only benefit a select group of people that are bald. There is a specific way that I do my makeup having no hair versus having hair. One of the things I'd like to do or make sure that I do is taking my contour color into my hairline a little bit because if I get foundation on this hairline, it doesn't give me any shadowing, it doesn't make my face look slimmer, it doesn't do anything for me, it just looks like I have a forehead that never stops. We'll bronze a little bit or you know, add another little product after this. So this is just a nice little rough draft. This is my absolute favorite nose contour technique. You guys see me do this. I did this on Instagram. If you wanna see that video, just go ahead and check it out. This is my routine. Nose contour is very personalized to every single person because it depends on what shape of nose you have. For my shape of nose, if any of you have my same shape of nose, this right here. It gives me like a nice little slim down nose tip because mine is definitely more rounded. And you're always gonna wanna do your contour above where your cheekbone is because when you blend that out, some of it is definitely gonna blend downward, just a little bit. So to keep your face from looking pulled down, you're gonna put that contour right above where your cheekbone actually is. You can't even see my cheekbones, baby. I got a rounded face or maybe not like a round face, it's like a heart or maybe a square but I don't have visible cheekbones, okay? I'd be like this for pictures. Now let us work this masterpiece. This is why I like to do my concealer after my contour because this right here looks crazy. But when you go in with that concealer and you clean it up, a whole new nose. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. And we're gonna go in with a secondary concealer. So this one I'm only really using to conceal. The next one is gonna be thick and I'm gonna use that to highlight. This is a very much lightweight if that's what you're looking for. Like you're not even gonna feel it on your eyes. In turn, the coverage isn't super crazy either. It's definitely more like a medium coverage. I know Shrek said onions have layers, ogres have layers, baddies have layers. I'm telling you, it's true. Fact check me. And that's how you get a really nice natural skin look. It's all about those layers, baby. I hope you guys never get tired of me doing complexion because I have like this obsession with complexion. Hopefully I feel like I switch it up enough for you guys to feel like you're learning something new. If you're here to learn, if you're just here to hang out, I would love to hang out with you. I like to switch it up while also being honest about the products I really love. If I really love one product and I'm gonna keep using that product the wheels fall off. But I have so much product here, I've got to do like a full face of new product, new makeup, or products I've never tried before, or like experimenting, just sit down and have fun. Like if there's any products you guys want me to try out that I might have here, cause I got a lot of stuff sitting here, okay? This weekend, 
she's gone. I'm cleaning this all out. Not gone, but she'll be organized. Some people might feel like this one is too thick for them, the 16 hour camel concealer, cause it's definitely more heavy duty. It's like a tart shaped tape dupe. If you go in with thin layers, you do not have to worry about it. I'm gonna use this Patrick Ta, this is the She's Statuesque Cream and Powder Contour and Powder Duo. Okay, this is the light one. This is the one that they sent me. I like it, but I definitely need the medium one because it doesn't show up very much, but it does do something. So I'm gonna use it anyways. I really do love this contour brush though because it does get in like exactly where you need it to be. Get a little bit of this. And I like to take it over all the way, like until there's no product left. Ooh. I went to one of those like sip and paint where you drink wine and you paint like very, very cute date, you know? I feel like the lady who was instructing, she'd do her little, she's like, all right, next we're gonna do this. And she's like, all right, now you guys go. And we'd be like, like, why do we do all that? If she did this, why are we doing this? And then going over it again and going over it again and going over it again. Like, sometimes less is more is the point I'm trying to make. My painting, I mean, it wasn't bad. I was like, I don't know if this lady thinks that my painting's good or if she can just tell that I cannot handle criticism at all. Because she wasn't saying nothing to me, but she was giving pointers to everybody else. Let's spray us up a little bit. For blush, I literally recommend everybody, oh, okay. There's a big fat eyelash on the side of my palette here. Let me just. I recommend everybody to try this blush. I feel like it would look good on so many different skin tones and you're gonna look at it and think, no, you're an idiot. But hear me out, it's light, but it's so pigmented. And it adds like this brightening effect or like plumping effect to my cheek. Contour kind of makes everything like hide away in the shadows and anything that adds brightness is gonna make it pop. So it's gonna pull forward. It's gonna add like a plump to my cheeks. Think about how Kylie Jenner does her blush or how her makeup artist does her blush. Her cheek always kind of pops forward and of course, we all know about fillers and things like that, but it's like the lightness and brightness of it really just accentuates the pop of her cheek right there on the apple. I've got a lot of cheeks here, but not a lot of cheeks here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit over the nose and bam. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the little fun. We're gonna go ahead and do some eyes really quick. I did this look the other day on my TikTok. So if you wanna see that, you can see that over there. I have this playlist, right? On my Apple Music or whatever. And it's toxic, but sexy. Toxic, but sexy. That's how I felt as soon as I put this look on. Let me know what songs down below you think are toxic, but sexy. So I can add them to my playlist. Pretty much anything by Brent. It's like where what they're saying is questionable at best, but it sounds so good, like, and you can't get enough of it. So I just put on a little bit of the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. I feel like sometimes the makeup looks that make you feel the best really aren't the ones that take the most effort. There's definitely some more intricate makeup looks that don't make me feel like super hot or whatever, but they make me feel, you know, cool. But today it's about looking super hot. I know for a fact that my camera was not just off that whole time that I just did this eye look and I was telling you all about it. Please somebody tell me that when I look back, there will be footage of what I just did. Pain, only pain is all I know. Let me reiterate then, okay? All I did is I took my little Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. It's fantastic, it's fabulous, it does stay put. Put that on the, you know, took my little Morphe, mm, don't know brush, and smudged it out, smudged it out with a little bit of black and brown shadow. Any black and brown shadow is good. And then I said, in that clip that doesn't exist. I just decided to take it down a little bit right here, just a little bit. It gives it a little sultry, smoky vibe. Like I was really out here doing this for you guys. I was posing. I was like, <laughs> so natural look. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do just a little bit of a pop of shimmer in the inner corner. A little bit of bling. Like I said, you gotta know when to put the brush down. Gotta make sure always, 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 always use a lash curler. I live by the lash curler. Now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. If you're somebody that does like that, you actually pumps air into the tube and it makes your mascara dry out. Ever since I found that out, I never do that again. I wanna get more bang for my buck. This mascara is really good, but speaking of drying out, it's definitely almost gone. And I'm gonna have to repurchase a new one. I don't know, I'm sitting up like this all crazy. Like I've got a whole chair right here. 
I can relax. Would you guys like to know that I'm sitting in a chair that looks like I'm sitting in somebody's hand like this? Hopefully once I fix up this room, I can show you guys like a little tour because right now, mm, looks more like a storage room. I'm gonna do just a little bit of mascara in the outer corners. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. Mm. You would think like a bad B lash would be something like poof, crazy out there. But honestly, a nice little wispy lash cut in half right at the ends of the lashes is all you need. You can want whatever you want though. Put whatever you want on, of course. If you haven't tried the half cut lashes at least once, just please try it. If you have a hard time with lashes that go all the way in the front because they like lift or they poke you, Half lash, baby. I didn't even realize I had these until I was just looking through my little goodie drawer of lashes. But these are from Velour. These are the Effortless Lashes. And they're like a no trim vibe. Like they're already pre-trimmed like half lashes. So this is absolutely perfect. I'm not mad at less effort, okay? If I don't have to trim them myself and they're already ready to go, I'm good. Unfortunately, we're taking it back to the high school days because I cannot find my tweezers. So it looks like we are doing some lashes with our fingers. I was looking for this in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, maybe it's not up yet. I was gonna use this duo line it lash it or line and lash it, line it lash, line it lash it. And it's like basically like an eyeliner and a lash glue in one you just put it right over obviously it only works on looks where you're using like liner because it camouflages it if you have absolutely no eye makeup on yeah it's probably gonna look stupid and just kind of put it anywhere where you feel like your lash will probably sit on it goes on way smoother it's almost like magnetic to the glue hopefully because i don't have any tweezers here it just sticks right on it just sticks literally it's on i'm gonna do like a little transition and have my lashes be on because one of these lashes on camera with no tweezers is enough. Once you're ready to take your lashes off, it doesn't like rip all your eyelashes off. So definitely if somebody came up to you, they could snatch your lash off like it was nothing. Like if somebody wanted to unprovoked, just drink, yank it off, it would definitely come off. Depending on what you're doing. Like if you need some heavy duty extra hold, that's probably not going to do it for you. But if you're just going out and you just want a little lash on and walk around your day, nobody's going to snatch nothing off of you. Pretty good. Pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and move on to the lips. I'm finally doing lips. We're going to see who won in these comments. I think I'm going to do the smoking room lip pencil. This already looks fantastic. Okay, hold up. This is literally such a gorgeous shade. Like, look at her. Okay. The right choice. I'm excited that this is gonna dry down and stay down because when I first got these and tried them out I was like that's very creamy like I'm not sure if that's gonna stay put or just gonna smudge around and for me I need my lip liner to stay put because it's like a little boundary for the rest of my lip color but they dry down perfectly this is like mm, oh my god for the inner lip let's do you know what I think I'll do a little bit of not your baby I'm not gonna do too much because I do have a lip gloss to still put on. There's just something about this type of lip color for me. It really does it for me. No wonder why Kylie really popped off after coming out with this like Kylie Jenner lip. Like it was literally known as a Kylie Jenner lip, just like a mauve nude Kylie Jenner lip. Like it's crazy. She was definitely onto something though. I always like to take it just a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go in with the shade of Plastic Petal. This is the lip combo that I chose right here. Definitely my new go-to. Once I get stuck on a lip combo, I don't change it up. I'll take that lip gloss or whatever it is with me everywhere I go. I'll make sure that lip liner stays restocked and sharpened, okay? So you're real bad bleep. Palsy, if you're seeing this, you did that. And if I get some other lip combo ideas in the comments, I might try out like a different combo next time in the next video. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I did not have lipstick on my teeth. Hold up. I can't wait to hear all of your lip combo recommendations down below in the comments. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I'm going to meet the teacher night after this. She's a real bad bleep mom, for sure.